Hello and welcome to the ZTech channel. In today's lecture number one of the analytical geometry, we will see or we will find the equation of the line in 3D. Equation of the line passing through a point in 3D or space. Now, the most important thing here is we have to emphasize this A point. The line is passing through one point here. So we will derive the equation for the line in a space now let's have some uh, review points now w when we talked about uh, the uh, equation of the line in 2d so these are the equations in case of the 2d y is equal to mx plus b and this is the slope point slope form of the equation and this is the intercept form of the equation so they are not important in in today's lecture so let's let's uh, let's kick them out so we would talk about the equation of the line passing through a point in a space or 3d so this is this is the space or we call this the 3d this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate and this is the z coordinate so this is the line it passes through the point one point let's call this the point x1 comma y1 comma z1 this is the point now note that when we talk about the uh, the, the equation of line in a space it is necessary that the line must have must have a vector the direction vector which is always parallel to the line so this is the direction vector for the line okay we call this the vector d or whatsoever you name it it's okay so the, this is the vector and the components of the vector are a comma b comma c these are the components of the vector which show the direction of this line and this passes through the one point there can be lots of points in a line so we would take just just one general line which we call the x comma y comma z it could be any line so now let's derive the equation for the line in space and before deriving one important thing I want to share with you after its derivation we I will tell you that why this line is why this equation of the line is good for what are its application why we should care about this so now let's drive let's drive the equation of the line in 3d so now see this is the one point this is one general point so we will take the uh, we would take a vector from them. Let's call this point A, this point B. So A, B vector will be equal to the difference between corresponding uh, coordinates. X minus X1 comma Y minus Y1 comma Z minus Z1. So this is the vector that we have uh, derived from this this line, and we have another original vector, which is which which is the direction vector for the line. So this is the vector direction vector, a comma b comma c. Now see this the vector, this vector and the vector between a and b, they are the parallel. So there the condition when the two vectors are parallel. They should be the scalar product of each other. So vector A B is equal to the T, we should say a scalar product. So this T is the scalar times the vector D. So now A B A B equals this 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 vector X comma X1 Y x minus x1 comma y minus y1 comma z minus z1 is equal to this t t times the vector d which is a comma b comma c now the t is multiplied with this factor so we get x comma x1 which is equal to this corresponding term t times a and this 
y minus y1 equals t times b and z to minus z1 equals t minus c so we can rearrange we would look for x or we will we will we will find or we will solve for the x so x is equal to x1 plus 80 phi my y is equal to y1 plus plus uh, bt and here z is equal to z1 plus uh, ct so now this this is the equation this is the equation of the line in space this is called the parametric equation of the line we have the symmetrical equation of the line in next lecture we will see the symmetric equation of the line and before uh, initially I started the video I told you why it is good for let me tell you if I give you the points x x y and z or x1 y1 and z1 I should say and I give you the vector a b and c and the time you will find the equation of line maybe you don't know why we are finding so why we are finding now listen it is good for the one reason we have the point x1 uh, x1 y1 and z1 so it tells that after t time where will be the point so if you put here the time 0 you would see that x is equal to x1 y is equal to y1 z is equal to z1 so the point is is at its original place but where will be the point after one second so this is all uh, about uh, this is all about the equation of the line it tells where the point will be located after some time or where the point was yesterday if you take the time negative it will tell us that where the point was so this this tells us uh, about that about the location of point after a uh, certain time or with the with the with the time passage so in the next lecture we will see some problems and i will show you the symmetric form of this equation so stay tuned for next lecture thank you